so then um, we were talking earlier at lunch about how you had your own Bible can you tell me a little bit more about that um when you know like the old Bible it's so long it has too many pages and too many words right so what I was gonna do with my Bible Mm -hmm. I was going to take out all the pages that I didn't like and leave in some of the pages that I liked. Okay. And then cross out all the parts in the words that I, that I didn't like and then I glue in my own pages. Okay. Alrighty. And what do you plan on putting on your pages? It's going to be like the real Bible, but it's not really. It's my imagination. Okay. Alrighty. Because you need to make it interesting, huh? Okay, so now how is this Bible going to start? It's going to, you know how like the real Bible, it starts, it starts like in the beginning there was no light. But in the beginning of my Bible it's going to say, in the beginning there was no denim, it was boring, quiet, nothing to do. And then it's going to say, later, it's going to say later the people asked for denim to be born. And then dinner was born, and everything was more excited. Everything was loud, and everything was better. Oh, okay. Okay. Who are these people that you think can benefit from your, your Bible? Um, I think uh, Barack Obama could, or my, or my pastor. Okay. Pastor Ripley. Uh huh. So why do you think they could benefit? Because they're they're my pastor. He reads the, the old Bible that. Uh -huh. Plus my Bible that I'm going to read. Uh -huh. And then Barack Obama, he can't change the Bible. Right. But he can listen to mine. Uh -huh. See if he wants to, like, you can read that one or mine. Right. And then he could, he could, he can't change the Bible because it's traditional. Right. So, but he can enjoy your Bible. Yeah. Okay, already. So, um, now Pastor Ripley, now get, let's get back to the pastor. So you're saying that if he read your Bible, what do you think will happen? If he read my Bible, he might get more inspired and more ideas. Okay, alrighty. That he could, but he can't change that Bible. Right. That's the same. Right. And so you you also said that if he read your Bible, what do you think will happen? I think he would read it in front of the whole church. And more people would come. Oh, really? So, why do you think they would come? Because sometimes when I go to church, I just, it's kind of, when I go in there, it's kind of boring because you read that big old Bible with all those pages and all those words. Right. But I think that more people would come because, because my book has not a lot of pages and it's more funny and better. Right, right. Okay. That's pretty cool. So, why don't we just say bye to everyone? Bye. And stay Keep tuned. Keep me posted. All right. On YouTube, oh. Facebook, Twitter, everything. <laughs> All right. Toodles. Bye. Bye.